Over the next five years, up to 10 million people will need support for their mental health as a direct result of the pandemic. Hi, I'm Joe Wicks and I have made a documentary for BBC One called Facing My Childhood and it's available now on BBC. I made this documentary because I really care about people's health and it's always been about physical health but what I've realised is people's mental health is so important and that needs attention and we need to talk about that. So I really went back into my own childhood and my own family life to uncover the mental health issues my mum and dad faced, how that affected them and their lives and also myself and it was really emotional, it was really difficult to film it. It was kind of like therapy for myself. I wasn't ready to uncover some of the things that I found. But what I realised is in that story, there's hope, there's inspiration. And I really hope that my documentary helps other people out there that are struggling with their mental health. So essentially the documentary touches on many important subjects around mental health, different kind of ways that manifest in people's minds. In my mum, it was OCD and cleaning and also eating disorders and she suffered from anxiety and struggled throughout all of my life. And my dad, his kind of childhood trauma manifested in addiction. So my dad was battling drug addiction his whole life. I talk about how that impacted my life and my brothers and you know people around me. And then I meet some amazing families that are also experiencing issues with their mental health people with bipolar, depression, anxiety. I visit an amazing charities as well called Our Time who specifically work with bringing families with mental health issues together so that the children are involved in the conversation and they can really open up and be brought into that so that they can understand what's going on. You know, my mum and dad didn't talk about it. There's a lot of stigma around mental health and I just wasn't able to talk about it and it really affected my adulthood as well as my childhood. And finally, I finish on a really positive note, a message around hope and inspiration that we can get through these things, we can communicate and I visit a wonderful school at the end who's teaching their young children around mental health and it's really helping those children who are experiencing things at home to communicate, to understand and to realise that you know they can get through it. So I think although it's a heavy topic, it's been handled really well, really beautifully and at the end there's this uplifting positive message that can be taken home from the viewer to hopefully give them something to focus on, give them hope in their own family life. I think now is the time to be talking about mental health more than ever. Coming out of the lockdown, we know that millions of families are experiencing mental health issues and they're struggling. And so if I can use my story, my mum's journey, my dad's journey, my friend Brendan from school, all these people that we touched on in the documentary, if we can use those stories to highlight that there is an impact on our health and our minds, but we can get through it, you can work on it. Now, you know, with the amount of children living with a parent with mental health issues in the UK, all I can hope is that people see this, they connect with it, and it gives them something, you know, some hope and optimism that no matter how hard things may feel in their own minds or their families or within their unit, that they can overcome it and they can come out of it with a close family, with friendships, you can repair those relationships that were once damaged. The documentary became way more personal than I had planned and I had envisioned, but what I realised was that, you know, in speaking to my mum and dad and understanding my childhood and what I went through, you know, it was chaotic, it was dysfunctional, there was a lot of aggression and there was a lot of absence from my dad, especially being, you know, in and out of rehab and the destruction that drugs caused my family and my mum's OCD and that constant friction between me and her when she was just cleaning all the time and I couldn't be a normal kid in a normal ha house, like it was very intense living in that environment and so I think those experiences really shaped me, really created a drive in me that wouldn't have been there and, and, and even with my brother Nicky, like, he's been there with me from the start, caring for me and now we work together and we're on this mission to help more families, you know, not just physically with workouts and recipes, like how can we elevate people's mental health as well and that's why we're, we're so aligned on that mission and I think this documentary again just spreads that message, it just reinforces that it's okay to have mental health issues, we all suffer at times but if you communicate, if you exercise, if you eat healthy and do the right things, you can overcome it and you can come out of it stronger and you can have an amazing life if you're willing to confront the mental health issues and once you do that, you know, my relations with mum and dad are the best they've ever been because of what we've been through and we've, you know, we've been very vulnerable, we've all been really open and honest to be emotional and sensitive and vulnerable and to show people that you're not superhuman, that is the gift that we can give the world because then people that see this, I'm hoping, are going to open up, are going to be able to talk to their family and friends and work through whatever it is they're going through with their physical and their mental health. It's definitely been a really emotional and kind of challenging thing to film this documentary but I've learned so much about myself and about my childhood, things that I kind of suppressed, I didn't want to believe, I didn't want to accept that happened as, as a kid and I think I blocked those memories out so this whole process has really been quite therapeutic to talk about and release some of that emotion and by doing that I feel like I've really taken a weight off my shoulders, I think my mum and dad have really benefited from the experience too. You know, all we believe and hope is that when people watch this, 
they're they're left feeling inspired and optimistic that they can work through their you know their own struggles because I think every family has someone that experiences some kind of mental health issues and if we work together we communicate with each other if we inspire the younger generation to be open and communicate then we can all hopefully elevate our mental health to a point that we are you know in a happier healthier place and more than anything I hope from the bottom of my heart that you enjoy the documentary and it truly truly helps you.